All right, so some of you guys wanted to see what I had here at work, so I figured while I'm waiting for my Jeep to warm up over here from this engine job, I would go ahead and do a quick little tutorial and just kind of do a rundown here. Um, three pry bars, those are the snap-on pry bars you guys know about. Them. Uh, I got this oversized SAE set of sockets that are Husky. Little Home Depot is special there. Needed those for some bigger crankshaft bolts. A uh, super long 3 8 drive snap-on ratchet. One of my favorite hand ratchets. It's for the O2 sensors. Uh, the three jaw claw from Blue Point for oil filters. Hood prop tool. 30 millimeter 12 point. I think that's for Toyota axle nuts. Uh, these are all Craftsman half inch impact. Goes from, I believe it's 14 up to 27. Skips a few sizes towards the high 20s. Some spark plug sockets, uh, half inch extension. Spark plug sockets, I got a different array of them. I got the 916s for like Subaru. 5.8, 18, 3 quarter, and 15 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths. Then they got a few different adapters here, uh, 3 eighths to half inch, half inch to 3 eighths, and a 3 eighths to 3 eighths nubby. A couple of little shallow Allens. This 12 millimeter uh, Sonics 12 point 3 eighths drive for Ford axle, uh, rear, I'm sorry, no, Ford drive shaft bolts. God damn it, it's good end of the day. Uh, oil pressure sending unit socket. This is a Titan extractor. I got eight and nine millimeter here in deep only. Don't ask me why. I just, I didn't want to, this is all 10 through 21 plus 24. Same with here, but I didn't have a uh, shallow eight and nine, just a deep eight and nine. So I threw those over there. SAE and the quarter inch, small extension, a little wobbly. Got the, uh, these Harbor Freight half inch Impact wobble sockets are pretty fucking badass. Metric, that's also blue power. These are the uh, mids from Snap-on. Just a kind of series of small extensions, universal extension, little ratchet, longer ratchet, quarter inch, that's a 3 8 I've used that on diesels a lot. Uh, extension slash driver, 3 8 ratchet, torque wrench, trim tool, I got a short half inch, and then I got this super long flex head snap on, uh, a little speaker in case I want to listen to some music, some safety glasses, air gun, in here got some of these oil filter canister sockets or also diesel fuel filter sockets, those are pretty nice, and a little half inch adapter, uh, first drawer, Kind of a little random in here. I got some of these flared Sunex Crow's Feet and SAE and metric 12 and 14 millimeter flex head combination wrenches from Matco. These are the Craftsman double box and 12 points. Another blow gun with various adapters, miscellaneous stuff. The flex head double box and ratchet wrench set from Matco. This is the gear wrench SAE and metric uh, ratchet wrench set. Then I got 13 and 15 Matco flex heads. This is a 9 16 and half inch Craftsman offset. A couple of little uh, ignition wrenches, think 10 and 13 for just weird spots. Killer gauge for spark plugs and whatnot. This is kind of a mess. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. You guys can kind of see it. I got some wire strippers, some pliers, some screwdrivers, some long picks, some other screwdrivers, hose pick, pressing wrenches, oil filter wrenches, channel locks, mirror, some Duralast. These things, with the long reach Duralast are pretty fucking phenomenal. I still like them. People say that they don't like them. Whatever, I dig them. Those pinch off clamps I got from Harbor Freight. They kind of suck, but it's whatever. The Matco ones suck too. Uh, this is kind of like my random drawer. Quick disconnects, four pound sludge. This is a Milwaukee uh, pipe wrench. Small double flat dead blow for hub pulling hub caps. Bunch of chisel sets. This is the uh, flip socket set with the half sizes in it. Flip socket extractor lug nut set. 90 degree drill for Ford Ranger. 
some AC quick connects, quick disconnects, uh, scraper, gasket, uh, oil transpan separator, the near caliper, batteries died, we gotta get new batteries for that. And this is kind of like my junk but whatever drawer. Alright, this is the uh, Matco fuel pressure test kit. This is for uh, camshaft, it's like a spanner wrench, camshaft spanner wrench to, uh, so you can torque the camshaft sprockets back on. The digital snap-on torque wrench, you guys know, you can see in my other video. So that's those two items. Ah, so I'm get things one hand. There we go. I got my Cornwell. Uh, UV black lights and some glasses. This is just some miscellaneous stuff. The charger for the flashlight. Bottom drawer. I'm not going to go through everything. You guys have seen this in my other toolbox tour, but I'll go through a couple pieces here. This is the rethread kit. Uh, looks like a harmonic balance puller. A couple of fuel pump uh, removal tools. Clutch alignment tool. Balance installer. Uh, stud extractor. Uh, Extra, another extractor set, another harmonic balance set for Dodge Cummins. Uh, more extractors, more drill, left-handed drill bits and extractors, extractors, drill bits. Uh, this is Torx bits, the long Torx bits, and the other one is long Allens. And then I got E Torx and Tamper Torx. And there's the half inch Milwaukee battery charger. As you guys know about the Milwaukee, still love it, still use it, use it. There's that, my flashlight that's taken a beating but still keeps on ticking. Best flashlight in the industry made by Steamlight. And that's all I got, guys. Oh, and uh, just because I think someone's gonna ask about it. Um, what is my impressions of the service car after having it for about a year? There are likes and dislikes. I like the amount of drawers that I have. I like the depth of the drawers. I like the functionality of the, uh, the slides coming out having a work surface. Uh, and I like the little pads that it comes with, the anti-slip pads. The uh, dislikes I have with it, I'm I understand the locking mechanism that that's supposed to you know help it to where the drawers don't roll open when you're rolling your cart around sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes it locks itself uh, if I bump it on accident and I didn't notice it so then I go to grab something and it's been bumped or something happens and it slides over on its own I don't know so I don't really care for the locking mechanism too much but I understand the purpose of it uh, so you guys heard me say that I liked the ability of having a work surface with these sliders but I also dislike the sliders at the same time because as much as much as as convenient as it is to have a work surface it absolutely sucks when you're rolling the thing around the shop because uh, the drawers just constantly sliding back and forth back and forth you know depending on if you're pulling it this way or pulling it that way um, another dislike I think I have would be uh, the the top of the work surface it has this hardened plastic uh, that's supposed to be there. It's like a, it's like a vinyl plastic uh, strip that they keep on top. So in case you spill something, you can easily wipe it up. It's bubbled up, and now it gets hot out here. It's you know in the hundreds, 115, somewhere in there. It's typically in the low hundreds though for the most part when it's summertime. Uh, very rare do we get the real like 115 weather, but it does happen. Uh, but on average, I would say it stays between 97 and 107 throughout the summer. So that makes it to where that plastic vinyl has created bubbles underneath it and it sucks because I go to set a drink down and sometimes it's a little off kelter and I actually knock it over so my own fault whatever so those are my likes and dislikes as far as a service cart goes so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it's kind of short and sweet um, I've been functioning out of this toolbox for <clears throat> about six months now and only this service cart it's not about how many tools you have, it's the quality of the tool, and it's having the right tool. I'll say that. Don't get me wrong, I still have to borrow occasionally from time to time for some weird job, but for the most part, I don't have to borrow from anybody and I can get most any heavy line job and small repair job done 
with what it is that I have in this cart. So it's all about, you know, having the right tool instead of having just quantity of tools. So anyways, that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike if you disliked it. Look, I had a lot of people asking me to post this video. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care, guys. Cheers.